So, welcome back. So, we continue uh, with the discussion of the wave equation. So, one more <coughs> uh, classical topic. So, this is conservation of energy and this will give us a clue in which space to work uh, in order to generate the uh, semi group or group. Okay. In fact, we are, since uh, wave equation is invariant under t going to minus t. So, we do expect uh, a group to be generated. So, conservation of energy. So, if omega is a subset of R n, so define. So, this is the energy uh, <coughs> in the uh, set omega. Okay. So, E of u omega and this is a function of t. Okay. So, this is half uh, omega u t x t square plus grad u x t square the whole thing d x. So, physically the first one represents uh, the kinetic energy and the second term represents the potential energy. So, this is <coughs> uh, in omega. Okay. So, this is for in general we can just T in R. So, where is U is the solution of the wave equation. Okay. U is the solution. Okay, so, <coughs> so here is a uh, lamb, a proposition. Okay, okay. So assume the initial conditions f one, f two are C infinity functions with compact support. Uh, <coughs> for uh, for r bigger than mod t, so some t in r we take. Uh, so this this is the ball. Okay, so the, uh, let B of R set of all in X in R n ball centered at the origin of radius R. Okay. So then <coughs> E of U B R minus mod T at 0 t equal to 0. So, this is the initial energy less than or equal to B E U B R at t. This is less than or equal to E U B R plus mod t again at 0. So, where t 
be easy. So we can estimate, so this <coughs> what this proposition says, the energy of the solution at any time t in this ball uh, B r is estimated uh, in terms of the initial energy. Okay. So, just uh, let me give you a quick proof of that. Okay, so, this we have this identity. Okay, so, so, u t since we are assuming the initial data smooth or smooth functions with compact support, the solution is also uh, smooth. Okay, so, but if you look at these computations, so minimal assumption on u also will do. Okay. So, what we are essentially doing is integration by parts and as long as that is valid, so even we need not need smoothness of the solution and that will uh, use little later. Okay. So, this is the identity, this u t. So, this is since u satisfy the wave equation, this is a uh, trivial thing, but here is the. Uh, so, we write it in a divergence form in both x and t variables. Okay. So, this is an easy verification. So, you can you should do that. Uh, minus d by d x i of u t u x i. Such computations are also possible uh, in general when we replace this Laplacian by a second order elliptic equation with symmetric coefficients. Okay. So, such computations are also there. Okay. <coughs> so, this is an identity. So, we have expressed this uh, term uh, as divergence of some quantities. Okay. So, then we can apply the divergence theorem in order to deduce certain estimates. Okay. So, take t positive. So, similarly we can take t negative. Okay. So, apply Green's formula So, what is the domain Green's formula uh, in the domain? So, this is in the T space. Okay. So, just let me <coughs> uh, first say that. So, this this is the T axis. Okay, x axis is <coughs> uh, space is here. So, you take the ball. Okay, so, maybe I use different at least for this thing. So, let me use red. So, here is the. So, this is t equal to 0 okay. and then <coughs> when you go to t equal to t, so you get a bigger So, this is t equal to t and now it is same circle shifted. So, this is radius is r plus t okay. and this is our domain. So, this truncated cylinder. Okay. So, this truncated uh, cone. Okay. So, if you come down, so it will be a full cone. So, that is it. Okay. So, this is the uh, domain we are going to apply. 
So, let me write that in. <coughs> so, what is the domain? So, just uh, set of all x t. So, this is mod x is less than or equal to r plus t minus t. So, these are all <coughs> uh, balls of varying radii, radii. So, and t varies from 0 to ok. So, I, I should change that. actually that is t equal to 0. So, let me make some change. Okay, so, some change t equal to 0 and this is t equal Okay. Okay. So that's the domain, and now let me write that. So let new tilde. So we we need uh, the outward unit normal. So just you write it as new half. So this is in the x coordinate and that is t coordinate, this is t coordinate. So, be the unit normal, unit outward normal. normal uh, to the cone to the cone let me so this is x t now mod x is equal to norm x is equal to r plus the lateral surface that is what we need right. So, we need the normal here on this <coughs> ok. So, this wherever that you can actually compute because that is a known equation, but <coughs> that is fine. Okay, so, now apply Green's from Green's formula. So, what we get is only an, uh, an integral on the boundary because it is in divergence form. So, just write that. Uh, we obtain E U B R at T minus. So, we just pay attention to the uh, outward normal. So, that is why you, you get this signs u b r plus t at 0 is equal to. So, on the lateral surface, so you have this on the sheet c t. So, let me write that 2 u t del u by del nu uh, minus 1 by root 2 simple calculation, but you just pay attention to that del x u square d s. 
So, d s is the surface major on C t ok and this you can write as minus 1 by root 2 again this is an identity. So, C t summation i equal to 1 to n u t nu i. So, this is this nu is in the x coordinate. So, that it has n components uh, minus u x i by root 2 square. Okay. And that is clearly non So, all this exercise is just to show that this is uh, <coughs> the integral on the lateral surface is uh, non positive and that proves one one side inequality u b r t less than n. So, classically if, uh, if I suppose most of you have studied wave equation. So, this is just domain of dependence uh, kind of thing. Okay. So, you are <coughs> starting with a you are getting a estimate in a smaller ball uh, from the estimate on the initial condition in a larger ball. And for the reverse inequality, so just let me just use uh, this uh, the other inequality follows similar. So, now you have to take uh, the truncated cone in other, other direction, other inequality follows similarly. Okay. So, that is just an application of the Green's formula. Okay. So, now since we are assuming, uh, let me again go back. So, see if we assume the initial conditions are in smooth compact support then certainly this <coughs> integral is finite. Uh, where is that? Huh. So, if for t equal to 0 what we get here is u t x 0 that is f 2 and this is grad of f 1. Okay. So, when they are smooth, so we can take omega equal to r n itself and this estimate in the proposition uh, okay, so the corollary ok that is. So, we have. So, now you let t to infinity uh, not t to infinity r to infinity. R to infinity just to conclude that E of U R n at 0. Okay. So, this is the energy conservation. And so, this is a <coughs> uh, physical requirement as far as the uh, solution of the wave equation is concerned. 
Okay. So, this of course, we have obtained under the assumption that uh, the initial data smooth and with compact support. So, if we wish to extend the solution class for uh, uh, not solution class, but the initial data class to a larger uh, integrable class, we should keep this in mind. Okay. So, whatever uh, uh, group we are trying to generate from the for the wave equation should obey this conservation energy conservation. So, otherwise it is uh, <coughs> physically not correct. Okay. There are other situations. So, where we can take other species and uh, uh, generate group, but then they fail to satisfy this energy conservation. So, they are partially correct. Okay. So, if you see the literature, so this you find uh, this discrepancies. Okay. So, that is what I want to uh, discuss. So, first we will discuss uh, a, a space where we keep this energy conservation. Okay. This is our goal. Okay. So, let <coughs> so, a natural choice, natural choice okay. natural choice. So, for f 1 see what we want? We want this grad f 1 square should be finite okay. and for f 2 it should be this is an R n okay, that's okay. Of course, this is straightforward and we get L 2 of R n. So, there is no problem there, but here you look we are asking only for the grad f 1 not f 1 itself. Okay. So, here is a choice. So, this is in scattering theory books they call it energy space. So, let me first write that. So, energy space. So, we work with this energy space. Okay. So, this is the Cartesian product. So, I will just write that H d R n uh, some authors write plus. So, so, this notation other notation is also there R n direction. So, a natural choice for the initial data is this one. So, what is this H d? Okay. So, H d, so I omit that R n is the completion of the smooth functions in the gradient norm. Okay, so, you first introduce this gradient norm. So, let me call it uh, f d, d for actually Dirichlet, but ok. So, this is integral grad f square d x. So, first you take f in c infinity c r n. <coughs> so, you verify that this is indeed a norm in that space. So, this is a norm. In fact, it is an inner it also gives an inner product because we are taking only L 2. Uh, because if this is 0, then we get f equal to constant, but f has compact support. So, f is 0. So, it is indeed a norm. Okay. And we are taking this H d to be the completion of that C c infinity in this norm. 
the first and foremost question what is this ok. So, I had to dig <laughs> uh, some literature. So, this is not <coughs> ok observation this H 1 R n is uh, H d. So, this is not equal to ok. So, so it is not again easy to describe the elements of H d. So, just know that it is a completion of C C infinity in this norm and it is a Hilbert space ok. Uh, only so, this was of course, you can see this one even in uh, Lax Phillips scattering theory book. Uh, it was much later uh, shown that this is not even the elements are not in R 2, they are not even distributions in R 2, but we show this one we show H d is L 2 log R n for n bigger than equal to 3 ok. So, let me give a quick example of this ok. So, it is <coughs> tempting to uh, show that this S t is same as H 1, but it is not ok. So, later on also we work with this H d replaced by H 1 that is somewhat easier, but it will not give you the conservation of energy ok. So, here is a simple example let me show you that one ok. So, example maybe with that thing we I stop. So, we know that this mod x to the minus alpha alpha positive uh, this is not in L 2 uh, in fact, it is not integrable in R n for any value of alpha, but for some value of alpha it is integrable at infinity and for some other values of alpha it is integrable near 0 ok. So, what we do is we cut off <coughs> this at the origin ok. So, choose uh, phi c infinity such that phi is 0 in mod x less than or equal to 1 uh, and phi is identically 1 in So, essentially we are taking this function phi of x x to the minus alpha. So, alpha will be chosen ok. So, you just uh, so this is an exercise. So, for uh, n minus 2 simple calculation. So, this is less than alpha um, less than or equal to n by 2. So, obviously, we take n bigger than or equal to 2 ok. Uh, integral grad u square is finite, but u square is ok. So, <coughs> some uh, strange things do happen in R n ok. So, just uh, so this space energy space this H d is something special ok. So, this is not completely understood but of course, in the abstract way we know it is a Hilbert space. So, what we do is we now extend. So, this final remark and then we will continue. 
so we extend the solution of the wave equation uh, with to the class of initial data f 1 f 2 in H d uh, L 2. Okay. So, that we call it u 0 of t. Okay. So, that is how we get the group and since we already know that the conservation holds for smooth functions. So, this u 0 t will be a unitary group. Okay, so, we will take up this discussion in the next class. Thank you.